So right on schedule, Apple dropped iOS 26 Beta 7 in addition to watchOS, tvOS, iPadOS, all their typical slew of updates are now available for registered developers, which means in a couple of days we should get the next public beta. And we'll talk about this whole release schedule in a second and what's going on and really how many more betas we can anticipate because as crazy as it is, we are a little under one month away from the official unveiling of the iPhone 17 series and watch OS 26 going public, plus whatever else Apple has in store. So first things first, before we even deep dive into that, I do just want to say that this build installed possibly the quickest it has, and I didn't feel the phone get as hot as it has been that we've been complaining about in the last couple updates. It's definitely warm, but as you can see here, we are not hitting 100. We might up top here, yep. Um, but it is still under triple digits for the most part, which says a lot from what it just was in the prior couple of builds. What didn't change though from the other couple builds are just the file size for the download. This still came in at almost 10 gigs on our iPhone 16 Pro Max. So kind of strange that yet again, we'd still inc incur these huge downloads, but not a huge deal. Nonetheless, just wanted to let you guys know. Jumping into settings, general, and about, we can see that, crazy enough, we are at an A build finally. This is awesome, especially after beta 6 and the beta 6 re-release. This full build number is 23A5326A. If you are new to the channel or new to these builds, A is what you're always looking for. Even a B build at the end signifies that Apple feels these builds are almost ready for the public, and typically you would get an RC right after you have something like this. What's interesting about this, and let's just go ahead and talk about timing and release schedule, we were anticipating still getting another beta here next week. What I mean by that is we are on a weekly release cycle now, so we got a build last week, we got another build this week. We were anticipating one more weekly build on the 25th here, which still could be the case, or Apple might skip a couple of weeks before releasing the RC at the announcement on, or the rumor date on September 9th. So again, Apple's gonna Apple, they can do what they want, but this is very encouraging to see, which also means we should have the best battery life, performance, and stability that we've had in any of these betas so far. And we'll put it through its normal paces here in a second, but I just wanted to let you know, that is kind of what we're looking at for a release cycle. If you're waiting on the public release, as Apple has been doing now, it looks like on the 21st on Thursday is probably when we can expect that. Possibly Wednesday if we're lucky, but more likely they've been releasing them on Thursday, so that's what I'm going to ride with as our guess. If you're not familiar, when you're this deep into betas too, there's not going to be a ton of new features. It's all going to be performance and stability improvements. So jumping around, let's go to our typical song and dance. Let's go to stocks and see how everything kind of flows. And it is working very well. Everything seems to be going pretty good. Let's go into Clash Royale. See how the games load. I'm not sure if you've noticed the game logo for game mode has reverted back in beta 6 and 7 to what it was prior. But yeah, you can see everything is working just like you'd anticipate. No real issues there. Let's jump into camera apps. No new splash screens there. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not expecting any real new features here. Beta 6 did bring a ton of new ringtones. It, let's make sure they're actually there. Let's see if the camera control came back too that they removed in the other one. Sounds and haptics. Let's go into ringtones, pick a line, and you can see, okay, they are all still here. Same with Little Bird. So those seven new ringtones are present. That is good to see. Let me go ahead and also show you guys where we're standing with storage. Since this has been a big topic in the comments, we have had an insane amount of storage being taken up by system data, and it looks like this update didn't resolve that at all. We're still at 36, almost 37 gigs in system data. Again, this is always going to fluctuate, but for the last couple of weeks now, we haven't seen this move at all. It has been up to 40 and down to 37 now, but that's still crazy iOS looks to be pretty consistent though. Apple Intelligence is still using 6.27 gigs and iOS as a whole is using 13.5. Hopefully there is rumors that base storage across the board will go up this year to 256. Don't know how I feel about that. Again, it's just a rumor. I don't see Apple doing it, 
but it is something to be aware of nonetheless, which would be very nice if they did make that change. And then going into camera, like I said, yeah, it looks like Apple has officially continued to remove that option for the classic switcher for when you're in your camera app, when you swipe between modes, if you move right, it goes left, you move left, it goes right. Some people preferred it to go in the same direction you're scrolling, so you move right, it should go right, move left, it should go left. Unfortunately, Apple removed that option from us, so we did not get that back in this build. In the control center too, we were incurring a bug when you swiped up the first time that it lagged, and there it is still yet again, first move, and this time it's lagging on two, two pages. It's always just that first one that causes that issue. Very weird, kind of weird to see that Apple hasn't fixed that either. But also, while we're on Control Center, you can see Liquid Glass still looks just like it has in the last couple betas. I'm glad to see Apple is sticking with it. Does still look good in my opinion. Still transparent, you can see it in the back. And everything on top of it is very visible, as always. So, again, swiping through, everything is really working pretty well. The phone's cooled down mighty quick, which is good to see. Obviously, battery life is always the big question that a lot of people want to know. We'll have to put it through the paces to know that. But I can tell you right now with our battery health, we are still sitting at 95% with 357 cycles. That, so basically being a month away, not even for the next gen phone to come out, that is pretty solid considering historically how bad battery life has been on iPhones and especially battery health when you run beta on beta on beta since they're not optimized for the phones quite yet. But aside from that, nothing else I'm anticipating in this build. Everything else should be working pretty well. The last thing I do want to look at is the release notes that we have pulled up. Let's see if they're updated. You can see Apple released all these other beta sevens that we talked about, but I don't believe the release notes were updated yet. Now, again, unfortunately, Apple has decided to update the titles, but not the articles with the correct build numbers. So anticipate this dropping here in the near future. Last week, it did take a couple of days. Yes, days before it was updated. Kind of weird. But no, nothing else. We did get a beta 7 for Vision OS. I did not notice. But everything is an A build, which does signify Apple feels all these builds are ready. So it'll be very interesting to see next week what we get. If we do get an RC or a beta, I'm not thinking we will get that RC next week just because that doesn't usually come until Apple's announcements, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below, how are you feeling about iOS 26? Now that seven betas are in, do you like it? Liquid glass, is it your style? I like it. I have to say, I do like it. I think it's going to be a good addition. I like the uniform look across platforms, but that's my opinion. I'm just one person. Leave a comment down below how it's working, how you feel like it is, and what you'd like to see added next. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.